one's got a lot of purples. Are purples the good ones in chewy sweet tarts? Absolutely. Are any good ones? Are any of them good ones in chewy sweet tarts? No, oh, no. Come chewy on. sweet tarts are a little. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm, not the I'm best. skeptical. And I, if I'm choosing Starburst over them, you know it's bad. What do you mean? Starburst are great. Starburst are, yeah. See, oh. what I appreciate hey, about the, the what? Am I, oh, really? People like Starburst. Oh my gosh, whole? Starburst are amazing. Really? I thought they were always like in like the mediocre candy, like mediocre Whoa. part of the candy spectrum. Step off, Stephanie. No, that's like whoppers and bottle caps. Whoppers Whoa. are. Oh, <laughs> you did not just throw whoppers under the bus. Whoppers, whoppers are, like are amazing. One bottle of the caps worst suck. candies. <laughs> I mean, I, I bottle would, caps are like way at the sucky end of the candy spectrum. I would challenge you to find whoppers someone a defender of, awesome. of the of the bottle caps. Right. The bottle caps are tough to defend. Who's, who's gonna? Who's going to get on board the, the bottle caps <laughs> train? <laughs> really love that soda flavored candy. Ugh. Chalky soda flavor. <laughs> I, you know, sometimes I can go for a bottle cap, but I also like no. Necco wafers, so you know, that's me. Oh, oh yeah. Hey guys, welcome to GB Live. That's not even a candy, that's a writing instrument that people put in their mouth. <laughs> Neckos. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> they might be Stephanie, a, there's ones that are flavored ships. with anise. Oh. Okay, there's the anise oh. flavored one. And there's the clove flavored oh. ones. The clove ones are great. What? Not at all. They're terrible. Just absolutely half, half of it's horrible. a waste. Hey! Hi. Well, I just shoved something in my mouth, so I shouldn't talk about it. You, you. Uh, I got something in my mouth, too. Darn it. Chris, say hello. Hello. Welcome to GT Live. It's Monday. You're here. We're here. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Happy wow. Martin Luther King Day. That was great. I, you should do that more often. Yeah, good one, this Chris. Is fantastic. <laughs> uh, I just flew in this morning after a... a and boy, are his... Uh, no. Boo. Okay, Boo. Like, you should feel bad. I know. Boo. He just got here from Nashville, the land of hot chicken. There was a lot of hot chicken. A lot of hot chicken. Also, number one destination for bachelorette parties. Fun fact. Really? Over Vegas? Apparently so. Huh. Or at least like the two are in close competition with each other. Okay. There were a lot of bachelorette parties I have happening to put in it Vegas out there. this week it was surprising. Is there? I, I don't doubt it. Um, and A lot. So, because uh, spring weddings are coming up, all yeah. the, everyone's having their bachelorette parties. A lot. It was crazy. So is, has there been an increase, do we think, in like the last, I don't know, five, ten years of people doing destination bachelor, bachelorette parties and going to places like Nashville and Las Vegas and the Florida Keys or wherever, you know, well, all of these like places that people go because it seems like, I, I don't want to like date us or something like that, but it seems like when we got married, maybe it was because we were just- Wait, we're married? Super- I thought we were brother and sister. Oh gosh, it's cr creepy when you put it like that. Um, no, um, it's creepy when I say it when I look like a 14 year old boy. I know, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm I like the Robin already. the Cradle over I know, here. it's weird. I, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I shaved it because Stephanie was getting sick of the beard. I sh then, you shaved it because the month was over and you told me that, that it was itchy and you wanted it gone. That too, but like I, I think Bla I might, I think I might need to bring the beard back to balance me, things man. out a little bit. Look at this blame. The blame it's a bit unbalanced on my. I look like the fourteen-year-old boy. No. It's it's awkward. Anyway, Matthew, anyway. Matthew and I got married uh, in the old year, almost nine years ago. How crazy is that? It's flown by, Holy Stephanie. Holy cow. We've done a lot in the last nine years. But like, it was, like it was yesterday. But it seems like when we got married that people didn't do like super elaborate, what? Like it was yesterday. Yeah. I know. I know. Oh. Like people didn't do super elaborate bachelor bachelorette parties. For instance, ours. Well, um, ours, ours was ours not a was, typical bachelor bachelorette party anyway. in any way, shape, or form. We did ours together. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also like already is weird. And it lasted like three hours and we played laser we, tag and we, ate ice cream cake and putt -putt. played arcade games. We did putt putt. It was it was a ton of fun. It was great. Um, now if I, I wrecked you in laser tag, I probably should have gone easier on you on laser tag. Yeah, actually, I didn't have that much fun at our best. Yeah, I was going to say, I know, I know you didn't enjoy yourself. Actually, I feel kind of bad it's about okay. it. Okay, um, but we did it together. Not even the putt putt. <laughs> you know how upsetting putt-putt is You get really intense winning. about putt-putt. I'm so, compet I may be more competitive about putt-putt than anything else in life. This I is, have, this is I true. actually have like a series of horrible memories of me being a terrible sport at putt-putt and literally like breaking down in the middle of the course, crying, getting yelled at my, by my parents, being <laughs> sent away from the game. I have terrible memories. Get away memories. from the game. I have terrible memories of putt-putt, no, of them being like, Stephanie, you're a, you have a terrible attitude. You can just leave. Like, wow. like literally just like kicking me out of games of putt-putt. 
Um, who because has? I'm s and because I'm so miserable and so competitive. But then, how's the ball gonna get back to the so somehow the cabin? that's, that's what like we you got to put it in the tube that sends it all the way I back. Don't know. So somehow I don't Paul's know. Never made it back. I don't know. They confiscated my ball or something. Wow. I don't know. That's um, but but I, so that's maybe maybe I should have like a do over bachelor. <laughs> We can do it. <laughs> um, We're coming up on ten years. I was thinking about throwing it for like ten years, but that, that's still two years away. That so is two, like it's a maybe good we year just do it now. Half, yeah. Carpe that DM sees that day. <laughs> so anyway, but I I never heard of people. Let us going know what away. we should do for our cool bachelor and bachelorette party. <laughs> our other one was cool. It was fun. It just was. We had zero money. No one in our wedding party had any money. No. And so we ate ice cream cake and played laser tag, and that's what you do. And Which was great. And that was exactly was what great. we should have done. It was exactly the right decision for where we were in our lives. What would you do differently, Steph? Sorry, we got to play a game. No one cares about this. No, no one, one cares, cares about, about our us pontificating about bachelor and it's bachelor okay. We're gonna be we're gonna make selfish content for the moment. Whoa, selfish, <laughs> selfish content. Selfish content. What, what would you do differently? Uh, what would you want to do? Uh, am I obviously like? High tea or a tea related activity. Yeah, like that seems say. like a must. So uh, w am I the age I am now with the, m with the resources I have now? Like yeah. I actually, I have more money than two. Do I used to track my purchases down to the $2. If I spent $2 or more, I had to track it in a spreadsheet to make sure that if you're I tracking it down to $2. Oh, you, if it was above $2. Yeah. I was going to say, if you're tracking it down to $2, you might as well just track it like accurately. No, it, it was <laughs> like, in the spread oh, let's round it up to the nearest $2. No, it's it like was really intense. No, I know. Um, I, I lived with so, you. But I have more money than that now, right? I know. You, you are yourself right now. Okay. Okay. So if I were you myself right now. Right now yep. I would probably... Sorry, selfish content time. Selfish content you time. Can if this is a video on demand, guess what? You can fast forward, skip to the game. We live in Los Angeles, so we're already close to water. I, I love doing stuff on the water. I love water activities, canoeing, paddle boarding, boating, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. but I don't get to do it very often. Yep. So I would probably take... A group of friends, TBD, because I don't really have that many friends. I was gonna say you're not gonna, you don't need, we don't know anyone. <laughs> we don't know anyone. Like no one likes us. Um, we know our, we know a couple of YouTuber no, friends. A lot, a lot of YouTubers like we us. We know a lot of people, but it's this. I feel like it's. Would a, they, it's would a, they invite? It's a level of intimacy that I don't yeah, know who, it's a who line, we have. With. You have a line, right? Where like people you invite to your bachelor bachelorette party, those have got to be really close friends. Like a lot of people who really you've like known us. For a long time. A lot of people trust us. They like to hang out with us. I think they would us. go. But, and I think if we invited them, they, yeah. Anyway, but anyway, TBD friends. Yeah, the friends we're, part we're gonna, is, is we're arbitrary. We're going to hypothetically say I'm not doing this by myself. We're in L.A. We could, we could cast your friends. There we go. We, we hold a casting call for, for, people, your bachelorette party. for people to board my boat. They can't be too tall and leggy or else it would look too awkward in the pictures. Wow. Because I'm so are you, short. Are you profiling the people who are going to yeah, your bachelorette party? Yeah, they have party? to be kind of short. Wow. <laughs> so, oh, man. That eliminates like a solid percentage so of people. So I know. We'd go out. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be really short. They, so we'd go out on a boat. We'd do some sort of boating activity, maybe paddle boarding. I okay. love paddle boarding. I love <laughs> stuff with paddles, swimming. <laughs> um, and then I think we'd come back, maybe relax. I very, very real. Anyone who's seen me at events knows that I'm I'm r a really bad like. Um, I, I'm really bad at fancy stuff. I don't get my nails done. I don't do a lot of stuff like that. So I might do something like that and then have like a really nice high tea with lots of like fancy little sandwiches and cookies and scones and tea. And that would be my bachelorette party. And then go to bed early. Yeah, likely. <laughs> <laughs> go to bed at like four in the if afternoon. If I were doing it with, with people I really, really trusted, and felt close to in my life, I would go watch a couple hours of trashy reality TV, and then I'd be like, bye, I want some alone time in the bathtub, and then I'd go to sleep. Am I invited <laughs> to this or no? Yeah, you could come. Do I, do I make the cut? There's nothing illicit. I don't, I would feel, I can't imagine how awkward it would be for me to have, to hire like, um, like, <laughs> A betasseled person to <laughs> come. <laughs> to Ch come. Ch Ch Chip and Dales, <laughs> rescue rangers, Chip and Dales. <laughs> to come. A whole new meaning to, to that theme song. Dance or whatever. So I don't. There would be nothing like that involved. It would just be me on a boat away from other people. That's great. <laughs> and then at tea having tea <laughs> great that I don't have to make myself. What would your bachelor party? Be? No, it'd be amazing. What? If you hired a Chippendale dancer, 
<laughs> but you force them to have high tea. Like you don't. You, you he actually, just, he it's just, just has like a big to sit in just a, a big in a little like, bow tie guy in his little like tea. tuxedo suit. But I don't. I don't know what a Chippendale did. Like I, I've just seen like the images online. <laughs> he's a you know? chipmunk. Like, yeah, he's, he's got like, a little white tuxedo. He's got like a he's got big old hand and a small little glass of tea. He's like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> little small finger sandwich. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Love it. That would be great. So, uh, what would your bachelor party be? Uh, we're, we'll talk about that tomorrow. On tomorrow's live Oh, stream. really? Yeah. Let's let's continue the conversation tomorrow because okay. we got a game to play. All right. Let's we're do literally it. twenty minutes in. Yeah, I, know I know we're like ten minutes late. I, know, I was whatever. sitting. I finished it's my fine. recording. I was I was here with you know a minute after four o'clock. I have to put on there. makeup because otherwise people say I look sick. I understand. I I don't have that luxury <laughs> because. People are gonna call me a prepubescent boy and also tell me I can't load a gun in the stupid Boneworks game. Did someone leave you a even, mean comment? He's been talking about this comment all the Even day. though, guess what, guys? Why do, they're like, why does he keep ejecting the the ammo from the gun? It's because I wanna I wanna start the next encounter in the game with a full rack of ammo, like a full gun of ammo. I don't wanna like run out midway through because the loading and unloading system is awkward and I'm uncomfortable with it. So that's why I pop out the ammo, but then it falls. People Keep leaving me comments about that. I'm so about it. Ava Cintron says, OMG, start the game. Oh, yeah, now you're wanting to start the game? In Age of the End says, hashtag rip the video. You know what other hashtag you can use? Hashtag GT Live over on Twitter. Well done. Hit us up. Chris is happy that it's Monday. Sure and am. It's MLK Day. Woo. And we're here to play some games. You can also hit us up in the chat. I'm on my phone today. There we go. It's very exciting. And today we're playing... Try to f try to fall asleep. That is going to be easy for me because I did not sleep well the last couple nights. Uh, I did not get enough Partying sleep. Partying with the guys. So the, the bachelor party, I was up late and did not get much sleep. We were up. I was actually surprised at how early everyone was able to get up um, after very long nights. But uh, Chris, what is what is try to fall asleep? Try to fall asleep is a survive the night style game where you are a person recovering from severe head trauma oh, okay. and dealing with a lot of frightening hallucinations. And your mission Ooh. is to fall asleep each night um, or oh, wow. die of stress. So obviously wow. oh my you gosh. don't wanna- uh, you Man, don't wanna, I feel personally attacked by this game already. <laughs> yeah, it's, it might have been made for you. you. You want to avoid getting your stress too high and manage to fall asleep. Fall and then, asleep and don't feel the anxiety crushing you in, oh as you lay awake in bed, wow. Wow, this I feel like this is hashtag relatable for a lot of people right now. <laughs> this is this game knew its audience and just like dialed it in. All right. Oh my well, God. let's All right. let's play the most realistic game that we've ever played on the live stream. Try to fall asleep. Welcome to every night. Right. Uh, did, are the settings right, Chris? Do I need to double check? Do you have like closed captions on and stuff? Sure you do. Great. I trust you. You did good work. <laughs> No, I can't get out of here. As your longitude just says, you look fluffy. You do. You are starting to look a little fluffy. The hair hasn't hasn't flopped over yet. It's still just kind of sticking straight Revival. up. Revival. Okay, here we go. Select a night. Night one. Begin. <clears throat> whoa! Whoa! Okay. Hey. Uh oh. Oh geez. Oh this, man. So the mansion's on fire. The house is burning. It's actually secretly a continuation of. Uh, Joy of creation. The roof, the roof, the roof, roof is, is on, on fire. fire. Literally. Close oh. eyes. Oh, hello there. Switch. You must be John Heron, right? Well, nice to meet you, Mr. Hello. Heron. My name is AB. I'm a medical assistant robot. My core function is to give guidance to my patients and provide a supportive presence in case of an emergency. Such as a mental breakdown, Shoot, I broke the light. Oh, man. and so on. I was created by your treatment supervisor, Dr. Rick Norberg himself. Oh, no. So, Mr. Herring, I'd like to congratulate you on successfully recovering from your physical damages. Oh boy. Such a huge blast. Nailed it. Didn't Ooh, lose winning it already. Bit. How about that? Anyway, it was great. now that you have healed from your physical damages, we can start to work on your brain damage. Your diagnosis uh. says that you have memory losses as well as a few you brain damages that might cause you to um, hallucinate. <laughs> well, luckily for you, all those damages can be easily cured. In order to heal your brain damage, you'll just have to sleep and rest. Okay. Sleeping okay. is the best medicine for Man, your brain. Man, if only and actual brain damage was, was brain cured so quickly and easily. Right? By power so sleep. So just fall asleep. 
Great. Great. Seems easy, right? Maybe you should stop well, talking to me. Unfortunately, your brain damage I know. might cause Who you is to this hallucinate. thing? And that could be Matthew and problem. Stephanie at the beginning of GT Live. You won't stay calm. Your stress will Start the game already. Huge stress will give you a cardiac arrest. A sudden stop of the heart. If that occurs, we might not be able to arrive in time to save you from death. So, you'll need to deal with your stress as best as you can. Okay. All right. Let's yes. walk you through the basics real quick. Breathing. Uh. That device at the bottom left corner is your info panel, which has two pretty self-explanatory levels. <laughs> now, if you could close your eyes and keep them shut for a moment. Oh, See, I I hold your sleep level just increased. If you're fitted up before 4 a.m., you'll fall asleep. Oh, geez, you got to keep yeah, it closed for a really long time. I find it fascinating how... Uh, boom! Oh, <laughs> sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. Oh, he put much. up my stress. The point is... Whoa! Hallucinations will increase Wait, what? Stress levels just like that. This level should be kept as low as possible. It'll go down if you'll keep your eyes... I like that my stress level also, was not high. On that lamp will help or it was, was high, high, and then you looked at the thing, and then it's, it's going down? Kind of broken. Is that because so you're facing your fears? the lamp and break it. Okay. Looks like we're all set. Oh boy. Close your eyes, fall asleep, and I'll check on you in the morning. Oh, this no. sounds night, just terrible. Oh no. Oh so, no. So okay. So I gotta w watch the thing. So so let it, let it be known that I I broke my light. First off, I kept the light on too long. I didn't know what was gonna happen. So that's that's my fault. That's that's my oopsies. Oopsies. That was that was an oopsie on oopsie. my part. Oopsie. Um, oh, I, by the way, I forgot. I, I forgot to mention something important that Animate Penguin on Twitter already pointed out. My idea of a bachelorette party is to go and eat unlimited sushi. That oh, really yes, should be that in is there a somewhere. Must. That's actually a great point. Wait, why point. is my stress level high? Great point. Why is my stress level kind of high? Is there someone looking in here? Right, what's going on? So I don't know about you, but seeing a figure outside of my door oh, or outside of my window okay, would then. literally... I, my, stress, my stress level would be through the roof at this point. Right? It'd be through the roof. I would shut and lock everything, get like some bludgeoning device <laughs> and just be there at the ready. Right? Shut and lock the doors. Oh no, what the heck was that? What the heck was that? What was it? Did you hear something? It's weird, like when I shut my eyes, like it looks like they're static and then it suddenly got like bright and white for a minute. Like there was a little like lens flare oh. looking thing. Huh. Right, it's weird. Right, you got this like interest. What is the static? I wonder if it's just to say, like, hey, stuff is still closed. Like, your eyes are closed, and this isn't just a pure black screen or something. Right? I don't know. Weird. That might be the uh, the lights you're dealing with. It's like a very faded, creepy. Oh, oh God! What? Oh, no! Oh, man. Come no! on. No! No. My stress. Yeah. I like that his stress level is so low right now. That is... That is not a low level of stress. Yeah, what is going on? Seeing someone, like, How, in what world does that result in a low stress level? Is he a ninja? Do I, is, is ninja climbing into my bed right now? It's midnight. Oh God, it's only midnight. Well, as long as I sleep, right? It's not about, as long as I fill my sleep meter? I guess, before 4 a.m.? Before four. All right. Or shut six. Em. Shut them peepers, man. Is it four or is it six? It's always 6 a.m., isn't it? I think it's Not, four. He mentioned oh, 4 a.m. Oh, look at that. Oh, What's that? Oh, oh, See, like yeah, that. What is that. See, that's the, the thing floater. I was seeing before. The is it eye floaters? Is I that don't what that know. is? That's weird. It's it's creepy. It makes me feel Everyone really has uncomfortable. Those, right? Sometimes. Oh, certainly. I have a, if you have too many floaters, it's a sign of glaucoma, I believe. Oh, geez. Uh, yeah, fun fact. So, get dem eyes checked. I think I'm good. <laughs> But I'm definitely paranoid now. But my, my eyes ain't so hot, so I gotta get done. I had a lot of floaters when I was a kid. I always thought it was kind of funny. Like, whoa, look at these things floating, floating in, my eye, in my eye bobs. Oh, at Jenny Ray on Twitter says, OMG, I just photographed a high tea bachelorette party so the flower girls could be involved. Oh, that's Aww. super cute. I elect to do the bachelor party that little children can go to. Uh -huh. Great. I mean, that's. I mean, even our bachelor bachelorette party back then was all about, like, it would be fun, but it would be a, a really high pressure job to be a wedding photographer. Oh, I couldn't. Man, yeah, those things don't come out exactly the way they envisioned. Oof. I'm it's almost really there. Hard. I feel like I'm almost full. Good for you. You must be really good. Thank you. I am very good at, mm, at playing I, you this too. Game. See that? What do you think that is? What? The floaty thing in, in my eyes. I don't know. I, th I think it's called. Oh, oh, oh. What's that? Oh, hey. Come on now. Is there something in here? What time is it? 1 a.m. Hey. 
Look at the, all that nice REM sleep you're getting, supposedly. This is like the worst sleep of my life. Oh, it's like terrible. This, this is not getting sleep. This is called... This, yeah. This is called laying awake paranoid. Right? This is like... So Matthew, uh -oh. Matthew is just gone for three nights, and I get really paranoid being alone. It's not really alone. Skip and Ollie are, are in the house, but I'm the responsible party and the only responsible party in the house. Oh, my. Wait, oh, your stress is too high. Keep your eyes open and turn on the lights. I can't. I, right. I, I broke the light. Come on. I broke the light. Can't do it. And this is... Sorry. I, close my eyes. I totally get stressed out being, being by myself. Uh -oh. I heard something. I don't sleep very well. This is the worst. This is... This is Come on, this we're is, almost there. We're close. This is like into the game or enter right? the game all over again. It's gonna make me all paranoid at night. Oh darn it! I'm not gonna get sleep again, am I? Hey, is my meter oh, full? Oh, oh, it's almost there. It's almost there. I feel like my meter is kind of full. Right? Here. Come on, come on. So do I protect myself by flashing lights or by looking at things? Uh oh. Uh oh. Is that Thunder. Just hey, two. Did I pass? I think you did. Did I win? Is that me winning? Dreaming! Dreaming! Yeah! Yes! New record! Woo! At D3, D16. Oh, okay, right. Kate. Okay. I just got into the lab. What now? Good. You should check out the power generator. The one that's near the water tower. It might be the reason for the whole power shortage throughout the facility. Got it. Where will you be at? I'll be at the main power box. I'll check if there are any fried circuits that need to be repaired. Sounds good. If there's something wrong with the generator, I'll try to fix it the best I can. Is this the place All that right, blew up? Good luck. I mean, I'm assuming that this is right, me piecing together like my backstory. Yeah, it seems like it would be. Right, this, Ooh, this which apparently happened in 1984. Look at that computer. Current times. <laughs> Great. There's a stress meter. <coughs> Good to know. Layout of the facility. It's a map of the facility. Dead16 in Leetspeak on Twitter asks if we would ever play old Pokemon games. We have played a couple of right Pokemon mods. What like was the fan created fan, games? Fan games. Fan games. Right outside the facility. The problem is that they're pretty grindy, and so that they're not very interesting after a while because they get a bit repetitive. Revival. They're fun to play on your own. Um, just not <coughs> like a lot. They're they're not as good of a live streaming game for us. Hello? Oh wait, wait, hold up. What was behind me? I thought you saw something. There you was a, there was a weird shadow. Are you sure? Guaranteed. I don't know, man. There was a weird shadow, Steph. All right. It might Ooh. have been. It might have been What's that shadow. That? Unclear. Hello and welcome to one of the most advanced laboratories in the Revival Company. You have been brought here thanks to your skills and hard work. God, see, look at that. Oh, what is that? That's right. I know. That is. Is it what? Is it a? Is this a plane? Wait, is there something going over our heads, or is that in the game? Yeah, There's that was a real plane. That was a real plane. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, but the shadow in the game is. The, is the timing shot? was weird. We went over to the window, and the plane sound started, and I was like, "Wait a minute, what?" You've been brought here thanks to your hard work, at, uh, skills, and hard work results during your career at our company. Please note that all work and information here. <coughs> New or old must be kept secret as it's strictly confidential and sensitive. Let us remind you that, you're, that you've signed the Revival Secret Research Contract <laughs> and you've agreed to all terms and conditions in the research facility. Look, leaking, leaking information or betraying the company is a significant violation of the RSRC. You'll be sent to one of the specialized research facilities will be assigned as a test subject. Ooh. Oh, we're totally a test subject. Oh, 100%. Thank you for your attention. Stay 100% test subject. 100% test subject. I'm a test subject. Can I do anything? No, nothing there. Exit the main light. Yeah, I know. I know what I'm supposed to do. But why would I do that when there's like all this stuff to explore? Here we go. 237. TS-237 is a chemical gas compound that's highly explosive, flammable, and toxic. It could be potentially used in batteries, nerve agents, or it could be used as fuel for power generation. Made ob main objective is to test it uh, in this greenhouse and study its effect on nature and the environment. Okay. Hmm. So that's obviously what blew up. You, right? Highly flammable. Like, yep. Look at us piecing together the mysterious Laurel already. It wasn't very hard. Stephanie, we, we worked really hard. We, oh no, the greenhouse entrance. Entrance. Mm. <laughs> entrance? 
Man, for being a highly sophisticated uh, laboratory for only the, the highest caliber of, of smart workers, uh, they really need to spell check their science. Uh, entrance. The following area contains a very deadly and dangerous substance. Do not enter without a permission. Without a permission! Do you have a permission? You, you do have not a have permission. a permission. You have no a permission. Uh, you must wear a safety suit before entering the greenhouse. Anyone infected with the substance will be abandoned in the greenhouse. Ooh. Yikers. Ooh, wow. Yikers. Shoot, I probably shouldn't enter. Those then. rules are, are stiff. Um, okay. Oh, someone knocked over the trash can. Whoops. <laughs> At, oh, come someone, on. someone opened up the menu. <laughs> Colton Miller on Twitter asks, uh, can you turn on? Can you turn the TV on? That's what I do, lol. When you're when you're home alone. Yeah. What are? Oh yeah, we do what that. Are your all, like, do you, constantly. Is anybody else here? Do you, Chris, do you ever feel insecure being the only one in your apartment? Oh yeah. If it goes long enough, I live in a house, by the way. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you do actually. I wow. forgot because you. He, he, Chris told me once about how he sits in his front yard and opens Ooh. his mail on the grass. I'm supposed to wear a, a safety suit. Here, I, so. I should have remembered. <laughs> Go but ahead. I honestly do. I I get more scared home alone in the house than I ever did in an apartment. Because with an apartment, you have the yep. shared wall thing, which yeah. is usually a negative. But I figure if something goes wrong, I can shout for help. Yeah, exactly. You don't have that in a house. I feel more insecure in a house too, actually. Um, Circuit. What What are your tactics? I do definitely do the TV thing, mm -hmm. and I like triple check every lock and and do like I get really paranoid about what windows and doors are open or closed. Oh yeah. Yep, me too. Certainly. I yeah. usually just kind of hang with the dog though. Ooh, yeah, I feel like that's the same. Oh, you have zone. a dog. Yeah. We're learning so much about. Oh right yeah. Now, Chris. <laughs> I like because Skip is no help. He's <laughs> he's. Negative help, if anything. More often than not, he's, Skip he's is downstairs, probably, like yeah, making some kind of creepy bump in the night or yeah, whatever. Usually, usually, it is Chris. He's tripping the security cameras by like walking in front of the front door, all sorts of stuff. So Skip is like Skip is no it's help at all. Telephone. Um, but I'll I'll leave extra lights on. Ooh. I'll turn the TV on. I'll specifically watch old reruns of Thirty Rock, which oh. we own on Google Play. Um, every episode. And or community or office or, or like yeah, some but lately it's Thirty Rock, and there are a lot of episodes of that, so you're not gonna end up repeating anything. Work and is I'll awesome. just leave it on all night. Thanks to work, you can pay your rent. <laughs> Woo! Chris, is that how you feel? Work is awesome. Is that uh, Chris? I feel work is awesome for a few more reasons, but that's one of the <laughs> reasons. Aw, <laughs> Chris. Um, so is this is this just locked? I can't. I can't open this. Can I? Yeah. Okay. I'm just curious. Yeah, it's it's Thirty Rock because there are no almost no episodes that have sad endings, and I relate on a spiritual level to Liz Lemon. Yeah, Liz Lemon is your spiritual spirit animal. Gas supply room. Sorry, I, I'm going this way because the other way was the exit, and since I'm supposed to exit the building, I wanted to make sure I checked out everything else before I got to the exit. Yeah. Just so, because they were like, oh, go to the generator, and the generator's right outside. So I wanted to check out everything else that was going on in here. So we got gas masks. We got ourselves a box of stuff, box of things. Please be respectful of others and use your indoor voices. Thank you. Ooh, okay. Matthew, do you get insecure when no one's at home? Oh, constantly, 100%. Really? Yeah, I get insecure are you, when people when are, are when at home. When everyone's home, I, yeah, like, that's seriously. true. How did you possibly true. come up with this in a dream? What? Okay. what? That's true. Matthew will bar the doors and stuff. Oh yeah, like like, like move there. furniture in front of the doors. Doesn't look like it's connected to anything. Oh yeah, I will absolutely bar the like like I said. If I was in the situation of that guy who's you know laying in bed with brain damage and like worried about what the hallucinations they sing or whatever, I'm barring the doors. I'm blockading everything. And I've got myself a weapon. Look in the microscope. I can see dust particles. Okay, great. Uh huh. Cool, cool. By weapon, you mean that long umbrella that I have downstairs? Any any number of weapons, <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> Anything can be a weapon if aimed at the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this microscope seems to be broken. <laughs> Pay you! Go! Anything, Go for the eyes! Anything can maim and harm <laughs> if aimed for the soft spots. Let's be honest. Uh, at here and the for body is full of oh so many soft spots. <laughs> At here I hear says, I wish I had the deck two G mutation so I didn't have to sleep as much and could get a lot of stuff done. I would love. You ever heard of that? I deck have not heard two. of it, but I do. Wait, did something just move? Something just moved. No, I think that's just the shiny bars down. Was that the shiny bars? Are you sure that's the shiny bars? Huh? N 
If you have the DEC2 gene mutation, you are a natural short sleeper. That's it's cool. It's every overachiever's dream, a gene mutation that allows them to fu norm function That's normally cool. with just four to six hours of sleep a night instead Modern of the normal time. eight. I don't have this gene, but I, I think Rosanna does. If you ever talk to Rosanna Pancino in person, she talks about how she doesn't sleep a lot. She gets up like really, really early in the morning every morning. She's just like, I just can't sleep. And so maybe she, maybe she has the overachiever sleep gene. I don't think so. Wow! Thanks I'm for throwing me saying. under the bus, Steph. No, I think no, because I think it's we've dashed my hopes and dreams. I wish. No, I wish. Um, I wish you did. I wish one of us did. That would be oh, great. Mark Schwarzschewski. I think it's one of those genes for people who get up at like 4 a.m. just naturally yeah, all the time. That'd be and they, they like go to sleep at midnight, get up at 4 a.m. and they're just like, I'm awake. <laughs> the room of coffee, the coffee room. I love some coffee right now. Too bad the power's out, okay? Great. Coffee room. Hmm. Drink coffee, it'll power your day. Nice was discovered in a family of natural short sleepers. Maybe this guy has it. He seems to be able to be like fully rested if, by blinking f like 20 times. Sometimes <laughs> all it takes is a couple of blinks. Okay. All right. Yeah, so they go to bed at a normal time, like 11 p.m. to midnight, but wake up naturally at five in the morning or earlier. Huh, that's These are not people who've trained themselves to wake up early. They're born They're this born way. born that way, huh. Oh, thank God Ollie doesn't have that. Holy cow, could you imagine? That'd be tough. Gas mask. Project Mergs was a biological experiment that was created to help the farmers eliminate rodents and other animals that were damaging the crops. The creature was stronger, more intelligent, and more violent than the traditional guard dogs, like the Doberman. Hmm. Due to a mishandling of the creature, it turned against its masters and escaped the lab facility. Uh oh. The creature was successfully terminated, but during its escape, it took five scientists' lives whose identities were hard to determine since the corpses were heavily, heavily shredded by the creature. Huh. This is like a super advanced lab. They couldn't like snag some DNA from someone. Is it a giant bug, you think? Ooh, that's interesting. Kind of looks, like looks like a giant. Just can't really tell what we think Mergs is. Here we go. Day 14. We've received all the necessary chemical gases and the compounds needed for the experiments. Testing and experiments will begin soon. Day 20, first experiment successfully completed. The gas TK900 has proven to be destructive and highly lethal for the greenhouse ecosystem, hmm. okay? So they're testing a bunch of different gases. One's explosive, one's really lethal to the greenhouse, okay? What we got over here? Plant stuff, stamen, pissed. <coughs> the pistol and the stamen. Uh, okay, same same note repeated twice. Okay. Right. Emergency gas mask. Good to know. I'm curious if anyone in the chat is one of these. Um, is one of I mean, the. How would you even know? Like just well, by. You would know. Your, just you would know you because you're up. like I've never trained myself to wake up early, but I just wake up early. It's Project also Copper okay. was a biological experiment that was conducted on a human test subject. Ooh. The intent was to research the limit of cybernetics. Wow. So we got cybernetics, <laughs> crazy gases. Mental hallucinations and greenhouses. There's a lot going on. The test subject's right hand, left leg, and most of the organs except the brain got replaced with cybernetic counterparts. Oh, wowzer. <laughs> All right. The name copper comes from the cybernetic electronics and the green color of copper oxidation. What? Weird. That, okay. <laughs> <coughs> it just comes from it. Okay. Copper. The the acronym copper <laughs> comes from the word copper. Oh, what? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. See. Science. That, na that's that's like my level of naming stuff right there. Like what what's in this copper? Uh oh wait wait. Oh, it didn't show any emotions, pain, reactions to pain or mental stimuli. Uh oh. The test subject eventually committed suicide <gasps> by ripping an arterial blood vessel. Oh vessel. no. Oh, oh body. Uh -oh, uh, -oh. uh oh. Hey hey, what was that all about? Hey hey hey. 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 So it's like there's some kind of leak here. Hey. This is unfortunate. Can so we pick up the hey. fire extinguisher? Let's get close to it and breathe deeply. Yes, inhale. Oh boy. Um, uh, okay. I, keep, I feel like I keep seeing things at the end of the hallways. It's really unsettling. This is actually like getting unsettling at this point. The fact that I was opening my eyes and seeing things crawling out the window too was also very unsettling. I thought I heard something. Right, am I having a hard time breathing? What's going on? Ooh, I'm outside now. Oh, buddy. 
Oh, this is no bueno. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is. Okay. Okay. Not loving it. Nope. Ba da ba ba ba. Not loving it. Nope. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. What? what? What's that mean? I heard. I heard a growling. This is actually a great idea. So this is, has to do with home invaders. It's relevant to the game. Oh, great thing. Uh, Tarnished Dragon says, if you're worried about home safety, invest in a can of wasp and hornet spray. It's non-lethal, legal, but will 100% stop someone, and you can spray it up to 20 feet away. Great. That's a great idea. The fuses Probably are gone. Probably super stinky, too. So I need five fuses. Find the fuses and put them back in the generator. Damn it. All right. At Ukami Hime says, Matt Pat finally shaved the beard and no longer looks like my brother. Celebrate. Wow. Maybe now looks like your younger brother. I was gonna say now I look now I look. I was your older brother. Now I'm your younger <laughs> brother. Shoot, I have to find these fuses. That's gonna be a challenge because there's okay. Dangerous high voltage machine. Do not mess with it. Keep it keep a safe distance. Fuses are gone. At Yoko fan number one on Twitter says, I feel like I've seen this game before. In your nightmares. Whoa! Oh, geez. You oh, went there. Geez. Stephanie went there. Fuse? No, is that a leaf? Is it a leaf or a fuse? They're gonna be white. White? Yes. Okay. Are they outside or back in the building? Uh, I believe you'll find most in the building, but this is a very recent update, so there could be some outside. <coughs> okay. I see a white glow off in the distance. See that white glow? I think that might be one. I think it is. Oh, hey. Oh, oh what, the what the heck? What, what, what the heck? Run, run. Oh, oh, my. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. What? Oh, my. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What the heck is going on? What? Try again. What the heck? So while Chris you're knew dreaming. that was coming. So while you're dreaming, you can still die of stress? I just what? I think I just died of stress. Well, no, so you'll notice that bar in the upper No, I, I see that. I, I'm talking about myself physically, not myself in the game. <laughs> I'm talking about me on this couch right now, literally having a heart attack when the game changes to red, screams at me and says flee to the exit. Right? Okay? That was crazy. That was that was on I don't know. Just say it, it was a bit unsettling. So in the original, what you needed to do was flee until the thing chasing you lost you. And the and it wouldn't take that long and the warning would just be flee. Flee to the exit is a little new and I think you actually have to find a way out of, of the maze it sets you in when you do that. Oh boy. But if you get caught by that thing that's running around, then it ups your stress and and it's eventually kills you. Everything has just upped my stress <laughs> at this point. My stress is really up there at this point, let's be honest. There's a lot of stress going on. This was not, this was not the game I was prepared to play <laughs> on the day when I flew in very early this morning. <laughs> Mentally hmm. very, very shocking. <laughs> Caddy Rod on YouTube says, you literally ran into the thing. What did you expect? I thought it was a fellow lab I also, employee I also who was fleeing the to the exit. In Matthew's defense, I thought it was like a recreation of the building burning down and everyone's trying to get out. Yeah, hundred percent. Wait, why? Does it just reload areas? Is that what I'm seeing? Like sometimes it just fades to black, and I'm like, why did it fade to black? Uh, no, I, I totally, I get now that that's the thing. Mm -hmm. But I thought for sure that that thing looked like a employee that I was like following to the exit mm -hmm. or something. Or like, hey, we're all evacuating the building. Let's all sprint away. It is very person sized. Is it very, right? Well, and it's funny because they're like, oh, the one monster. So are there multiple monsters, I guess? One is the cybernetic creature who looks like a human but has like the cybernetic parts. And then the other one is. Mm -hmm like the the thing that ripped everyone to shreds, or is it one and the same? Hmm. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, ah. for your, thanks for your vagaries. All right, well, I guess I should run, huh? Because I'm coming up pretty empty-handed. on Like, this is a huge, th again, it's one of those times where it's a huge map. Miwako Takagi. With very small things to find. Says, stress that need the Chippendale dancer right now. Right, I need I need a Chippendale sitting next to me, sipping his, his small, his tiny little teacup, mm -hmm. eating his little finger sandwiches. 
living life. Mm -hmm. Be being his living right. his best life right now. Living his best tea party attendee life. Let me think there. Maybe there's something there. This map is enormous. I'm just throwing it out there that whoever decided to put these fuses out into the world was an idiot. Uh, cause this is a massive complex. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't see anything that, I mean, that looked like fuses before, but I guess I wasn't particularly looking for them before. Hmm. They also might not have spawned until after you Yeah, got there. Was, that, that was kind of the thing I was wondering too, is like, you know, maybe I missed my opportunity. Mm. Like I should have done, for, curse me doing the exploration before Right. I progressed the story. I should know better. Unicorn Kitty asks, where is the Diet Coke? You didn't have Diet Coke this weekend, did you? Uh -uh. Matthew is over 20 days, no Diet Coke. Right. Almost, so. almost a 12th of the way through the year. No Diet Coke. Oh, ah! come on, run, come run, on. Run, 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 something, something, something. <laughs> oh, this is, this is the worst. This is legitimately very scary. Mm -mm. This is legitimately very unsettling. Right, this, this map is so big. It's, it's enormous. It is such a huge map. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Uh, the equipment is so old, I guess it gets the job done. All right, thank you. Why, why, why do you hide so few things in such big maps, game? Why, why do this? Why, why do game? Why, why do? How do, friend bear? Oh, jeez. Uh, okay. The equipment is so old, but I guess it gets dropped. Okay, okay, great. Well, Thank well, you well, so well, much well, for that. Wait, was that a fuse or a reflection over there? What? On that table on the left? Is that a Did fuse? Did you see a fuse? Oh, that's a lamp. Yeah, is, yeah, I know, I was looking too. Lamp. Trash can? Nope, not a trash can. Like, I also don't know the rules of where they're allowed to hide things. Like, is it always gonna be on the floor? Is it gonna be on a desk? Is mm. it gonna be a, like in a trap? Like, are trash cans viable hiding options? I would check. I think a few are on tables. Take a look at the new Crystal TV line. No, I, I figure. Uh, this is outside. Ugh. Man, why, do, why doesn't any place ever have lights? It'd be great if they just had lights available so I didn't have to walk around. And, hey, is that a thing? It's a beautiful setting, I will say. What is that? The beach you, outside is lovely. What is you are finding the fuses for the generator, so that might be why they don't have lights available. Yeah, fine, be that way. What's that? Nah. I don't want any death sticks. Oh, oh it's cigarettes. They've been sitting here for... Co they have been sitting here for quite some time, though. They're, oh, does that mean they're aged? What is that supposed to mean? They're old cigarettes means that this place has been abandoned for some time. Ah, got it. As if something came in and killed everyone Great. or everything. So excited. You know, oh, oh come oh, on. Uh, 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 uh. I should probably run away yes, from this, yes, right? Yes, yes, run, run. Press F to turn on the flashlight. Oh, well, it was just a spooky. It Wait, was just, what? It was just a spooky. He was just being a spooky. Were we in this room? Nope, different room. Oh, God. I know, they look very similar. Different room, though. I understand your consternation. Good use of consternation. Your trepidation. All right. And all your other Asians. I understand them all. All your Asians I can relate to. What? Cell phone is not connected. Okay, they never I am error 404 says, is it just me or are there things I'm hearing in my headset that they can't hear? Are there... I mean, additional sounds here? I mean, uh, the time you kind of reset there, there was a growl right before it. I heard, I, well, I heard the like Doberman dog. I'm not sure what I'm seeing through this microscope. Right now there's just spooky music. Yeah, I was gonna say it's just a bunch of spookies. <laughs> Looking through the Lemon microscope, Bread I see studios, a dead bug. Lemon Studio says, you need a days since Matt had a Diet Coke sign. Oh, that's a good one. That's oh. a great idea. Do we have do we have one of those white right boards? We could makeshift one right now. Oh yeah, I will do that. Hold on, you can yeah. you can hand it to me. It's fine. Um, I'll I'll draw it up. Let's see, January twentieth. When did you actually stop drinking Diet Coke? I see oh, that you, someone you put together a smile Eve, with think. dust particles. New Year's Eve was my last one. Okay. While trying to look in the every single microscope, while trying to look into every single microscope, it fills you with. 
Determination! That's funny. Really? Okay, at this point, I really like microscopes. <laughs> That's good. I enjoyed that. That was delightful. I should get a little Easter egg reward for that. Or, like, an achievement. I guess my achievement was the, the fun little, uh... The fun little, uh... Text. Come on, there's... Really? Nothing? Really? Nothing? Tegan Rock nothing, nothing, Rockford nothing? says constipation? Constipation. Let's keep this... <laughs> let's keep this place secret. Everything we do here is very secret and confidential. That's cute. Alright. That's locked. Ugh, come on. Big map is big. Only happy thoughts. Yeah, Alright. Current times. Yeah, maybe I... <sighs> There's only five of these things? Oh my gosh. Okay. Is there one? Oh, there's one. Okay. So I'm gonna have to run to the exit. Yep. Okay. Get ready. Old Get newspaper ready. from 1996. It reads, due to an unfortunate incident in the Pine Tree Island, the family vacation resort is getting closed. The incident involved a vicious murder, murderer who took six lives after presumably having a mental breakdown. Hmm. Oh boy. Since that incident, the island's ratings have dropped and the lack of consumers has led to its closure. Interestingly, the revival or revival company has shown interest in buying the island. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> but the future of the island is yet uncertain. Okay, well that's good to hear. Here we go. Close the doors. Okay, that door's closed. That door's closed. That door's closed. They're all closed. They're all closed. The doors are closed. The doors are closed. The doors are closed. Oh, there's one. Well, it's closed. Oh damn. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, this is this is horrific. Oh, what? This is oh, come this on. Is this is horrific. Oh, this no. is oh, this is all new, by the this way. This is horrific, guys. What is going on? This is horrific. <laughs> I hate every moment of this. Oh, this is terrifying. This is awful. And look at all oh, this. Oh, he's floaters. so close. This, this is awful. So much, so many there is so much glaucoma going on right now. <laughs> oh yeah. I hate all of this. Oh damn it. Oh, Get no. up. Close, close. You're How long so do good. I have to do this for? I would love this to end. I would love this to end as fast as possible. Please end this, but not but with me dying, because that would be a bad way to end this. Right, we've come so oh far. Oh my gosh, I know. We've trod over such a huge portion of that god ungodly map. Okay. Oh jeez. Uh, oh jeez. Close Wait the door. Oh. oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No 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 Oh, buddy, this is not, I mean, it's fun, but it's not fun. <laughs> you know, how about this? It's fun, but it's not relaxing. This is not, <laughs> this is intense. Holy jeez, it's really well made. Like that was a great mini game. Just, it's like Mario Party, but you know, created by Blumhouse. Right? It's like oh. a Blumhouse Mario Party. Paranormal Activity. Mario Party edition. Right. Sick. You did great. Thanks. <coughs> that was very well done. Okay, I think I've got your <coughs> your sign's almost ready. Hold on. Very, I'm very concerned about things. That oh, buddy, Wait, no. What was that? What was that? No. What's down there? What's down there? What? <coughs> I am not okay with whatever's behind this door. Wait, what was it? Carrie. Oh, yeah. God, Carrie! Carrie, I hate you! Carrie! Get out of here, Carrie! Carrie Lima! You and your bean, get out of here! Wait, what? What the heck are you talking about? It's, 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 that, it's her nameplate. This is her office. Carrie Lima's office. Oh, oh, There's some okay. evil entity inside of it that's gonna kill me. Okay? I thought you were talking about the Stephen King. Okay. No, Carrie. Yeah. Carrie. <laughs> Well, forgive me. Maybe if you would pay attention to the gameplay, Stephanie. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm working hard here, okay? I'm working on Not doing this for my health. In fact, this is probably very unhealthy for me. There we go. 
Yeah. Maybe if I wait long enough, the lights will just turn on because. Days since Diet Coke. That's adorable. I like it. 20. 20. Oh, man. 20. 20. It's <laughs> a lot of days. It's right? Lot of days it is a lot of days. It's a lot of days since Diet Coke. There we go. Especially when you've had six a day. I know. Like right? I was, I was at six a day and I went think to about, zero a think day. Think about how much money you've already saved. 20 have I times saved? six cans a day. I don't know. Have, have I saved that money or yeah. has it all gone into Arnold Palmer's at no, this point? No, no. Because I'm drinking a lot of Arnold Palmer's. I know, but me. that's actually a lot more cost effective. A lot of Arnold Palmer's. It's more cost effective. Let's say you only okay. drank oh, buddy. cans. Oh, Okay. Hey. Not loving this again. Turn on the flashlight. F turns on the flashlight. F is flashlight. F is flat. No, what do you want? No, leave. Go. So that's already 10 Stop. dozen Diet Cokes that you oh, not had. Oh, come on. Get out of here. A dozen, a 12 pack is what? Five, six okay. bucks? You're saving a lot. I don't think you're appreciating the creepiness of your stuff. No, I'm really fixated on this one very small I did. Small I turned line. on the flashlight. I did okay. turn on the flashlight. Thank you. I was trying to turn on the flashlight, that whole creepy intro, so don't tell me what I can and can't there do. There go. You told me to turn on the flashlight earlier with F and it didn't help. It didn't help in my time of need. Okay. There it is. All right. Here we go. Okay. Ready? You got oh. this. You got this, dude. Okay. You got this. All right. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Pump you up. Ready? Here we go. Follow the light. Okay. 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 Wait, where's the light? Okay, there. Wow. Oh, no, 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 go, go, go. Wow. Oh. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. There. Okay. Which way? Oh, this okay. is rough. Wait, shoot, okay. Where is it? Where is Where, it? Oh, oh there, there, there. Oh, man. I, right? These are hard mini games. These are really hard. Right? Because if you if you don't know like where the light's being reflected off of, it's like oh, really shoot. Where hard it? to where tell. Where is it? 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 Oh no, I'm dead. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Shoot, I'm dead. How'd you miss? How'd you I lose don't, it? I don't know how I lost it. I don't. Oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't know how I missed that one. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know you either. Right I was right on it. You were on it. On it. Covered with dust. That was brutal, man. It's been here a few decades at least. Okay, I'm, I'm Darn gonna die. It. There's no way. I, I need to survive two complete rounds of this, two more rounds of those. The, the, the mini games are really hard. They're And they go for a long time. Yeah. And you're just thrown into them. Like They're less mini and more just games. Yeah, it's they're intense, man. I'm gonna read some stuff in the chat while you get your heart rate back under control. That's Oz a creepy looking monster and too. And Queen 14 says, oh my God. Uh, Tay Rose 29 says, that scared me. Um, let's see. We need should make a sign that says days since hair shaved says damnation dignified. Well, you can't have a sign for everything. Huh. That's funny. <laughs> That's like 30, 33, 30 days something. Days since hair shaved is? Yeah. 30, 35, maybe? Nah. Just a little over a month. Yeah, because 30 was uh, last Friday. Yeah. Wasn't, uh, yeah, last Friday. Coke Gaming says, that scream though. Uh, Caesar Salades just says, no! Uh, oh, buddy, my heart is. Amira Ma Mahmood says, it's actually proven that jump scares and scary games are healthy for you and good for you. Is like, it? Is that a thing? your sources, is, man. Is that a thing? Is that uh, one of those, was that an awesome video? It appears that all the rodents are gone. Kira says, hypothesis. now I can't sleep. Acted as a nerve agent and shut down the entire nerve system. Mm. The plants and trees have small red purple like veins on the leaves. Ooh, that's creepy. X150 Eli says, I am filled with stress. Yeah, I am too. This is this is rough, man. And Alejandro Morin says, Thank you, now I have nightmares. This is a rough one. Man. This game is <laughs> this game has a lot going for it. The spelling, the correct spelling of the word entrance is not one of those things. Oh, excuse me. Bless you. Oh. It's got a lot of other stuff going for it, though. Okay. Oh. Yeah, my stress levels are high. 
high stress levels. I guess I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna try this, I guess. Technically, I'm gonna get caught in here and the thing's gonna kill me or something, right? Ugh. Well, hey, at least now we know that there's like one. So we're learning where the, the surge protectors are, the, um, sorry, fuses. We know where the fuses are now, where there's one on like every level of the building. There was one not too far from the, whatchamacallit. Yeah. Oh, oh God. what? Oh, I hate everything about this. My sweat, I hate it. My sweat glands are all functioning, just so everyone knows. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> sweat glands are in, in a good, good state right now. Oh, yeah. Whew. It's just gonna kill me. Oh yeah, yo yeah, I was dying in there, huh? Because it's the poisonous gas. Oh, jeez. Great. Like I could see my like self slowing down and stuff in there. Oh, I don't like it. This is not cool. Oh, weird. Weird. It feels like it's thrown off my walking in some way. Maybe that's just. Maybe that's just me being overly sensitive now. At some old nerd says, Mad Pat's determination to not drink Diet Coke gave me the determination to switch from normal Dr. Pepper to Diet Dr. Yeah, Pepper. Yeah, good for you. And I hear Diet Dr. Pepper tastes more like regular. So the slogan says, actually, I really like Diet Dr. Pepper. I don't know where that falls in the cola spectrum, but I haven't, I haven't had one of those either. I'm also 20 Looks like days Daisy with no Diet Coke. No was writing a draft that. for a letter. <laughs> It reads, I don't know if I can do it, Dad. I appreciate that you gave me the opportunity to prove myself, but it's a huge responsibility. I only went because you convinced me. I'll only be a helping hand. I don't want to be involved in anything major. If you truly believe that it's for the good, then I'll support it. Otherwise, it's all on you. Hmm. Okay. okay. At Gabby Dreamstar says, yeah, go down to dark rooms lit by glitching lights. That's obviously a fun idea. Oh, oh, damn. No. Oh, God, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Oh, jeez. Oh, what the heck was that? Ah, uh, what? What was that? What was that? I don't know. Oh. Uh, <sighs> Buddy, this is... Do I need to go back down this hall? I already did this hallway before. Like, I didn't find one on the lower level of this building, though, that I'm a little bit concerned about. Okay. Alina, 1986, oh, says you should totally get a Fitbit that tracks your heart rate when you play horror games just to see how much you respond to the stimuli. Oh, oh I should put my Fitbit back on. It's one of those things where it ran out of batteries, and I was like, oh, I need to recharge it. You know I carry your charger with me wherever I go. For is that where it is? No, it's a spare charger that you have. <gasps> what? Yeah, so that way when we're, when we're traveling, I have it for you. So that way you can ch charge it. I think I only have the one. Well then, you must have given it to me to save keep for a trip. I think I so. It. I have it for you. That's where it is. I'm gonna charge my Fitbit. <laughs> yeah, you never asked. So excited now. Of well, I, it was my responsibility. I was like, it's my charger. I lost it. I'm here for I it. was the irresponsible party who like dropped it behind a pillow somewhere, and it's in a couch. I don't know. Probably in one of those buildings. Huh? <sighs> yeah, probably. Here, can I put it in the three? I, I have three. I want to put the three back in. I just want to feel a sense Come of accomplishment on. before I eventually die, because right? I know I'm going to die. Know. Like, there's no... Uh, like, even the door minigame, I feel like I just, like, lucked out on. Right. Oof. Ugh. God, it's, it's like... It's like Slender Man. Mm -mm. Right. Looking for the pages. Except there's actual gameplay. <laughs> At little, uh, little Caesar of 21 says one can of Diet Coke is six is uh, 62 cents. So six cans is 3.74. So that's 74 dollars and 88 cents. Yeah. But in California, they're actually much more expensive. A 12 pack of Diet Coke because they add a soda tax. There's a lot. Yeah. There's so a lot of extra okay. taxes here, so they add a soda tax, and and it's also just more expensive. So six cans here. Six cans is three. Wait, six cans is three seventy four. That a twelve pack is. Oh, I did this. Is like six bucks. Yeah. Okay. No, you're actually right. You're totally right. Yeah, that's a lot, man. 
I mean, that's also not including like the McDonald's Diet Cokes, which are a buck. That's true. They're a dollar. They're larger too. Though. They're a large. Yeah. That is true. Either way, you saved some cash. I have. This map is enormous. Just, just throwing that out there. It's an enormous map. I hope that these don't randomly generate and that I, I feel like they've got to appear in consistent locations. Like, right? I, I do think that that's going to be the case, that they're going to be in consistent locations because you kind of have to, to accomplish some of the like jump scares that they're doing. So that's at least good to, like once we find them, even if we die, we should be able to recover them fairly quickly. I, I say it, I'm being very defeatist of myself saying once I die, let it be known I don't intend to die, but At only for know, GT Live I'm, says, I'm one of three with these mini games right now, so I'm not I'm not really feeling too good about my chances. Speaking, just throwing that out there. Speaking of, at only for GT Live says, I just want to feel a sense of accomplishment before I die, quote unquote, that's that's you. Isn't that what we all want, really? Steve. <laughs> I know. Come on. Where? Oh, is this open? Is this this is it. This is definitely one. At Genarch on Twitter says, Oh no. Mad Pat, you're stressing me out. I nearly peed myself. Ah, uh, I did pee and myself. And I got stress so, hiccups. You know, here there we go. Is. There it is. Okay. All right, this is either continuing the game. Okay. You got it. I don't know how I lost the. the I don't know. Light I, trail. I, I, you, you were on it. You were on it. Here we go. Okay. Reach the end. Okay. Oh god. Look, okay, David. God, the music mixing of this is terrifying. It's like, yeah, it's got that like spooky it's got, buzz on it. It's got that like That's over, true. yeah, it's got the um, like, oh, whoa, wait, can I jump? Okay, I can jump. Wow, that's okay. good to know. Oh, uh -oh. come on, give me, shoot, wait. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, no. Shoot, shoot. No! Aw, oh, man! Mm. Criminy. I don't know how you would have even realized that you could jump. Right? That I was like not it. a mechanic that was ever introduced no. in the game. They didn't give you any warning. And also, you can't jump very far. Okay. Okay, Kate. I just got into the lab. What now? Okay. Good. You should check out the power Okay. Here. We can register though. Okay, and so we know and we and we know and we know most of the mini games. What now. we're supposed to do. We know four mini games. Okay. We know we can jump in one of them. Where will you be at? I'll be at the, the, uh, the find the exit I'll one is still the one that confuses me the most. Right. Sounds good. If there's something wrong with the generator, I'll try to fix it the best I can. All right. All right then. Good luck. Here we go. Okay. okay. So, let's do this. Speed run. Woo! Speed run this game. Okay, Woo -woo. here we go. Exit. Yeah, okay. And look at the power generator. Yep, that's what I'm doing. At Slime King is asserting that most of this game's jump scares are the equivalent to ghosts in Bendy Chapter 4's Haunted House Ride. Oh, I think these are so that's much scarier. Absolutely not. I think they're so much scarier. Bendy. See, what? Did I get attacked by the dog? Did the dog kill me? At Victory and a bunch of numbers says best way to relax on my 18th birthday. Happy birthday! Hey, Finally happy birthday! Okay, here we go. Okay, so oh, now you got we, one yeah, we okay. no, they're they oh, are they're in, in the same, same place. Spot. They okay. have they kind of have to be based on the jump scares, I think. Okay. Okay, here we go. Leave the exit. Nope. Oops. Nope. Okay, here we go. We're gonna okay. go for that. Ah. Uh, how the heck are you supposed There's to know no anything? There's no way. There's no How in the world are you way. supposed to know which direction to go? Not that one. Oh, this is horrific. This is horrific. Oh, this is so I scary. I hate oh, this. Oh, God! God! There's no way you beat Flea to the Egg. You're just giggling back there. There's no way. Chris is like, There's no way. Cackle, cackle, cackle. Wow. That was 
so scary. There, that is so no, scary. There's no like indicators or arrows that is so telling scary. you which way you're supposed to go when you're in the maze. That is so scary. Oh my gosh. It is All right, horrific. ready? Let's try this one. Go. This is run. Oh no, close the doors. Oh, so they appear in Random a different. No, they appear in the same order, even though. Oh, you might even though you might pick up a different one. Shoot. Okay. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Got it. It also it also sucks that there's a delay. Mm -hmm. Like you click it, but it actually. It, I, it starts the door closing animation at least. I know, but there's no actual acknowledgement yeah, I that know. you've done it. Yeah. So you just have to tr like there's you not like, like a sound. Away. Oh, where, where is it? Oh shoot. Oh jeez. Oh come oh, on, oh, oh, close oh. that. Close that. Where you at? Where you at? Good one. that one go? I don't think so. Did it? Out of here. Not that one. Okay. Good. It always looks like the same ones are opening, even though I know that's not the case. Oh, oh my gosh! What? Oh, no. Oh, damn it. These are... Oh, these are so sick. Scary, and they're so hard. I can't believe all of them are so hard. I can't believe I missed that one. I thought I was doing great. Right? I thought you were doing really I well, I too. I had that. There were a couple where I was like, oh, did it click? I'm not sure. I thought I had that. Like, Darn I kept circling. It. Huh. So there are all, they're all different monsters. Right. It's worth Give calling it out. Uh, yeah. It's all, it's worth calling out that they're all very different. Right? Like, that was a werewolf. Yeah, that was, that was, was a weirdy. Weird. That was a weirdy. Uh, well, we're dead. Yeah, we can at least give the, the last, like, one of the other ones And we're still shot. missing one. Yeah. By the way. Because I haven't checked this, like, guardhouse area. So we know two of them. Go around the other side. So we know two of them are in the building. Can you jump? Sort you know, the jumping is very, is a, is a, is can a big. Can you take a running leap? It's, it's like I'm. Jump is a very generous term for what my character is able to a do. A significant sachet. It's more of like a a plump. A plump. A plump. <laughs> plump, 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 plump. So we're missing one, for sure. Yeah. Oh, and the, the my mouse is now. Oh, stuck don't in go this dumpster position. diving. Let's go into the spooky, spooky area. Here, muzzle. They're all spooky. I know, this is pretty good. What is that? It's, it's what the is dog that? thing, like the dog thing. Someone in the chat warned us about like growling and then the screen goes off, but yeah, I don't it, know it's, it's, what it's that's It's this weird about. dog, like growl. It seems to not really ah! do but, anything. Right, but it doesn't attack Jeez. us. Oh, God. I know. I, I'm, I'm confused about the dog growl right now. No! Ah, no! Nope, no! Nope, nope. Yeah, let's not run into nope. him. Let's not run nope, into him. No! Nope. No! But we have to run into him because the fuse is here. Bleh. Okay, here okay, we go. So ready? what was the third game? Third game was run to the exit. Yeah. No, third game was follow no, the follow lights. light. No, follow the light. Okay, follow let's see light. if like what you might. I'm just curious about what happened last time because I thought you were doing great. Okay. I bet there's like you're permitted so much time each time. Of life I mean, yeah, that's that is correct. But I mean, like it is. But I thought he was doing great. It was just weird that he couldn't find the next light. Right. That's. It that also was, seems to be exactly the same as it was it last is. time. Right. That is one of the things that helps. Is like once we the pattern seems once we to be get the same. once we get familiar with these. The next one was like around that corner. Yeah. 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 The next one was like here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Where is it? There, there it is. is. Okay. Okay. That's there what it was. Okay. That's where I died before. Was it? Yeah. Okay. There. This one. There we go. Yes! Good. Yes! So, so the, the reason I died the first time, I know, I know why. You were stuck around a corner? You yeah, yeah, you have to actually go a little bit beyond where the light is, and you have to kind of memorize 
what branching hallways there are, what so the you can options are. yeah, where yeah. your options are, so that way you can proceed to it. And so the problem that one time was, yeah, I can follow the light when it's bouncing off things, but it was bouncing around a corner that I and I couldn't see around the corner was the problem. Yep. So. Okay, so okay, we're figuring it out. And it's good to know that that game seems to be consistent, at least. Like, it seems like the games are consistent. And okay. so once we have the pattern memorized, we'll be able to just kind of execute on that, which right? will be good. Right, exactly. Uh, at Reagan and a bunch of numbers says, that scared the crap uh, out of me. Not as much as this. See, the, here, there's Carrie stuff. Do you want to see Carrie? There's Carrie. Oh, yeah. There, no, see, no there's way. Carrie. Nope, nope. You were wondering what I was talking about with Gary. It's what happens when your work becomes your life. Okay, so now we go over here. He's gonna do the spooky. Okay, do the spooky. Do your spooky. Oh. Okay. I'm 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 definitely tense. Definitely a little bit shaky. This is this is this is a scary game. Like these monster designs are really creepy. The atmosphere is really creepy. Right. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. What? If that's a real person, Great. or if, like we're attacking him, or if that's me. Uh, so, I'm kind of confused what that is. I turned on the flashlight, you don't have to tell me. Okay, so this is run to the exit. Janae Labyrinth on Twitter says, that monster looked like the thing from The Shape of Water, <laughs> LMAO. Which one, the? The, um, one of the, the one in the underground, I think. Underground? Uh, the, because the other one was a werewolf. Yeah. I think it was one. Okay, here we go, we okay. stand. Okay, I guess you have to jump. Yeah, I, I, okay. I, I do have a little bit more jumping ability than I thought, I guess. It's, Just it's, try and get right to the edge of the platforms, even though I know that the, I don't know where those boundaries are. Like, they, they're rounded, it's weird. Okay. Okay. Wait, this is different. Oh, no, no, it's it the same, it's the same. Okay, here. Oh, God. Got it. Oh, like, no, 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 Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, Good save, good save, good save. Okay, where's this? Oh my gosh, this is so hard. I wonder how much time I have to do this. Don't, don't 70 seconds. No, I, no, I, I mean like, but how far this is. Like, how much time do I have to like set up these, these jumps? Right. You know? I think that, that's more my question. Okay, okay. Okay, get, get off of it, okay, go. Hopefully they give you a little Oh my gosh, okay. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Ooh, that is, that is some slowdown. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Straight across. Good one. Good one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. This is nuts. This is nuts. This is... Oh my gosh, there's, wow, I mean, I, I can do this faster, it's just. But I don't think you should. I think you're gonna run off something if you do. Oh, come on. Oh, we've gotta be close, nope. you've gotta be close. Wow, oh. wow, there's, I mean, there's, wow. That is so, so long. long. It's so long. That is so so and you're a good platform. That too. is long, man. Wow. <laughs> this this is brutal. I can't believe this. This is so hard. This is brutal. You're doing. I mean, we're improving. We're improving. Are you trying one more time? Okay, Kate. What? Oh, we're doing time Just go into the oh, I get. You have six what minutes. Now? Six minutes. I don't know. If you want to try to beat one, I. I or should we just save we, it for... We, no, let's try find the exit one more time. Got it. I hate find the exit. Well, find the exit is far and away my, the scariest one. Right. Okay. I think find the exit is horrific. I don't see any arrows in there or anything. There's nothing. I mean, there's a lot of doors, and I'm assuming that all the doors are shut and one is open. At, Go ahead. At CDN Bookmouse says, that save though. Hey, yo. Thank you. <laughs> Woo. This is this is so intense. This game is really intense. At Shira Marie 2002 says, "Can you play Among the Sleep? It's a horror game." 
put that one. We could put look into that one. Among the More fun oh, ones the like this. There's oh the boy. Dog. I'm. I, I want to kind of revisit the the sleep mini game. The sleep mini game was really interesting to me, with the people out like outside the window and stuff. Like right. that was terrifying. I'm surprised that we yeah got through that so right? fast. Right. Uh, like especially after all the trouble we've had with these. All right. Ready? Hold up. I lost my mouse. There it is. Okay, here we go. Okay. the exit. What? Are I, you kidding? I hate that minigame. Come that on. Mini game is so, I hate that minigame. That was, that was, that sucked. Oh, more people in the chat are echoing, um, yes, among the sleep. It says random doodler. That sucked. Man, I, that sucked. I that one sucks. And mo and mochi macaron, macaron a, says among the sleep is really good. Is there one in here? This is a bunker that we haven't checked yet. Codfish know. face among the sleep is amazing. Oh, go cool, cool. Let's look into it. I don't, I've never heard of it. Uh, I've heard of it. I've never actually looked into it. Let's see. All right, this is shut the doors. Can't believe we lost shut the doors. Okay. Right? How did we lose this? You were doing so well. To your left, or to Wait, your right. Ah, uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Did you get that one? I think so. There, there, there. Ah, oh. shoot. Oh, good, Go. good, 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 good. Yes! Yes! <sighs> Alright, we can beat one of them. <laughs> that is crazy. It is so tense. That That's game is crazy. not easy. That not that is not easy. Yeah. At all. No. I think we should leave on a high note though. Okay. We beat that one. We can pick up where we left off. I, I think this game is really interesting. This I would like to finish it. I think it's we're challenging in a fun way. It's definitely scary. We're only on night one. I know, this is nuts. Here's the crazy thing. It, it's, so wait, Chris, is this I would like to play a, a little more. Is this a full game? Uh, it's in early access on Steam right now, and we're actually playing the updated demo that okay. was updated. Just oh, this is the demo? Yeah, this was wow. updated just a week ago, though, they, so I think it's kind of what's on Steam. It is but a demo free. Robusto. It right? is a robust demo. Right, there's a lot to it. It's, uh, it's impressive. Okay, so uh, we yeah. have to go. Um, we have go. a one year old to go retrieve. So that is it for our Monday edition of GT Live. We will be back tomorrow, same time, same couch, 4 p.m. Pacific time. Join us for something different, probably. Probably, probably a different game, but something just as fun and stress-inducing for Matthew. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, Welcome to my to life. Welcome to GT Live. I am uh, I'm, I'm like legitimately shit. Like, that was intense. I know, that was intense. That was intense. So anyway, guys, thank you for joining us today. It's good to be back. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll be a little bit better rested. Um, and we'll talk about my bachelor party tomorrow, I guess. Oh man! Uh, so anyway, fun. we'll see you then. Um, is that wait? Is that someone down the hallway? Hold up! No. Hold up! No. Wait, no. is that someone down the hallway? No. Are you sure? No. It's, not, do you see no, that? Hand, do you see that arm? No. No, that's a fire extinguisher. Yeah. It's a fire extinguisher. You're Fine. You're okay. Good. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow for day twenty-one without Diet Coke. Woo! And remember, guys, that's just a stream, a live stream. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Try to sleep not sleep tight. At Kid in the Hood Stay says safe. bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Sweet dreams. The whale says bye. Ray Ray Unicorn says bye. Uh, yikes forever. <laughs> says Tay Rose. 
Ray Ray, uh, I remember. Claudia says bye. Ray Ray Unicorn says bye.